What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Gerald from Bank of Gerald here with yet another video update. Today is Saturday, March the 26th, 2022. And today we're going to do an update on IPC. We've got some new information that we received yesterday, but we just didn't have time to bring. Some of you may have even heard it already, and that is perfectly fine. But this is for the people that have not heard this news or supposed alleged news that has been posted and are at least shared with our leaders um, some of the leaders here in the United States about Intelligence Prime Capital. Before I get started, Intelligence Prime Capital, I want to remind everyone that I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, and I am not your financial advisor. I am just a dude on YouTube showing you guys how to crank and how I'm cranking out um, from these many, many, many different platforms. I know I'm in a whole bunch, but just bear with your boy because... It's helping me right now, especially in these IPC times. It is a blessing to be diversified and not have all your funds in one platform. Well, one, you shouldn't have all your funds in one platform anyway. But to have the money that I was willing to lose spread out has been a blessing over the last year. So I want to just say that before I get into this Intelligence Prime Capital news, because we all know. What's going on with Intelligence Prime Capital? If you like this content, go ahead and hit subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to be notified about everything going on here at BOJ, make sure you hit the notification bell as well. So we have received some news. And I want to share it with you guys today. I'm going to go to the... Um, I want to go to the Telegram. I won't say the Telegram group. I'll say a Telegram group. And I want to share this with you guys. And then I'm going to tell you guys what I am doing. I'm going to actually show you guys what I've already started the process of doing. Um, give me a second while I locate this. Shouldn't take me too much longer because it should be in the... Just got a lot of stuff going on, y'all. Yeah, got a lot going on. All right. So... I'm going to read this. I'm not going to just pull it up. I'm just going to read it for you guys. It says very, actually, forget it. I'll just, I'll just pull it up so you guys can read along with me just in case, you know, some of those people out there say that I have an audio issue. So, you know, if you guys are having an audio issue, then you can just read it. All right. Now, this is from one of the uplines. Um, this is not a, a official IPC group or nothing like that. This is just a group where we talk about some of the issues and updates and problems and good times that we have in platforms and IPC in particular. It says very important update. All right. And please don't spam these people. Okay. This is very important update. Number one, investigation revealed that a hacker and scammer situation came from within IPC company staff. It says danger has been neutralized. All personnel involved have been let go. All right. Now that's just number one. But now we're starting to see that hacker scammer talk that always happens at the close of platforms. You know, all the platforms are always getting scammed. They always getting hacked. They always getting uh, DDoS hacks and different stuff like that. All right. Number two, it says by the close of the week, you should see systems back to normal and pending withdrawals will start clearing. Now, I am still waiting for this. We've had a bunch of different leaders. Um, you know, even JJ Zaps, the young bull, you know what I'm saying? He put in his group another undefeated week. We just got paid. Y'all know I don't spare a hater, right? You know what I'm saying? Hope, you know, I hope nobody's hating on the young bull. I know I'm not hating on him. But it says he says that he got paid. All right. Of course, it didn't show that in the Telegram group, but it says he got paid. Now, I know personally, and I can only speak for myself, I have not gotten my last withdrawal from IPC, which was around $4,500. And his, his withdrawal was apparently in the 80000 <laughs> and he got it. So, he got it. I haven't seen that, but he said he got it, so I can only take his word for it, right? But the company is saying to its leaders that by the close of the week, you should see systems back to normal and pending withdrawals will start clearing. We'll see about that. Number three, beware of anyone offering to retrieve your funds for any type of fees. 
That is a scam. Don't fall for it. And this is something that we see all the time in fallen hypes, fallen platforms, all this stuff. You see people getting scammed because there's all this information and people looking for information on, fall, on, on what their platform is doing. If anyone says to you that they can get inside IPC and get your funds out for a fee, matter of fact, if anyone tells you that they can go into any fallen platform and go and retrieve your funds for a fee. This is a scam. Please don't do it. You'll see scams all up in my comment section all the time when platforms fall off. Please do not fall for that. All right? And for, for now, there's no USA registrations. Those in from two weeks or earlier must withdraw and vacate. Those who have been with IPC longer are now grandfathered in. And then it says, thanks for all your patience. Now, as we all know, or some of you may know, most of you don't or may, may know, may not know. Payday, it says payday is technically on Saturday. Well, it's Saturday. All right. We are used to getting paid on Friday night. Now, Saturday is not over. But as of right now, we have not received a withdrawal from last week. And we also have not seen any payment in the back office. And I'm going to go there now so I can show you guys what I've decided to do. So this $6,707, of course, that came from my MT4 trading capital account. That was, a, that was the amount that I had available to withdraw from the MT4 trading account last night. And, of course, I'm going to try to do a withdrawal for this. Of course, this puts me back under the, the range for managing director so who knows when that'll update but we're still waiting to see management bonus we're still waiting to see profits clear we're still waiting to see all of this stuff none of that has happened so to safeguard myself i went ahead and pulled everything that i could have pulled out from the mt4 trading account which is still no guarantee that i will be able to get it out Still no guarantee that IPC is going to pay me. We're hoping for the best. But we're not. <laughs> and the reason I say this is because, you know, and I don't want to put my brother on blast, but some people really just get uptight about stuff just to get uptight about things. Some people don't really put any real effort in. Some people don't really pay much attention until it benefits them. And a lot of people, you know, I'll, I'll, I, you know what, I'm just going to cut that. I'm going to cut that because that's personal and um, I won't get into all that. But I know a lot of people feel the same way. I know there's a lot of people that may have been helped by somebody getting IPC or they may have put in their last dollar in IPC, which you should not have done we always talk about this. Never put anything more than you can handle. Never put your rent money. Never put your last in any of these platforms. So that's why it just struck a little bit of a chord with me. Some people out there really ain't done nothing. <laughs> and they're getting really, really uptight that Intelligence Prime Capital is going away. One, this is what some platforms do. This is not the new. This is not... It's, we don't want this to happen, but when it happens, we can't act like we're so surprised. Like, are we really that surprised? No. We ain't even really seen a CEO from this platform. And then everyone that we've had access to just got fired because apparently they were scamming money out of the people's accounts. So I'm glad IPC did that, but this is the, this is the makings of, and for those of you that have not watched me before, we've been in many, many platforms that end just like this. And I've only had a, I only had a channel for a year. 
platforms will come. This this platform has has done a great job. It's been around since August of last year. I didn't get around to it de- till December. Two hundred other people didn't get around to it till after me, and that's just the people that joined me. So we have to be diligent in these platforms. We have to stay informed. But at the end of the day, we need to make sure we're being responsible of our own funds. So that we're not emotionally distraught when things like this happen. Especially when I literally have a page full of plays for everybody to run. I have a page full. I have a, I have a docket full. If you look under this video, you will see mad platforms that are still paying and have been on my platform docket for months. Some of them have been there in the space for years. Still don't get no attention. That's not my business. <laughs> that part ain't my business. What, what, I, what I focus on is what I can control, or what I'm trying to get better at focusing on is what I can control. So IPC is showing its red flags. We may not be able to pull anything out from this for the rest of the time. We may not get paid. Intelligence Prime may decide that it's gone, all right? But I want to mention this. One thing that I know that the leadership above me is doing is they're giving them a week to sort out their issues, all right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them a week, but I'm also not going to wait a week to pull my money out. And if they get their issues and problems resolved, just like I put it in before, I'll put it in again. But right now, as you can see, I'm getting my OTP code sent to me, to my email address, and I'm gonna do a withdrawal from this platform. And I'm already currently waiting on last week's withdrawal. So if they start doing withdrawals again and they start pushing people's money through and the people from the United States, um, some of you guys have gotten notice to vacate letters pretty much saying withdraw your capital and thanks for doing business with us, but we're gonna give you your capital back and all that stuff, which is the best case scenario, all right? You know what's funny? I'll just share this because I know I, I know he's probably not even watching this video because that's how my friends are. But <laughs> if they allow us to get our capital back, then all this crying that people are doing about losing their money will hopefully cease. And hopefully we'll see some people diversify or start to diversify. And I know the person that the, pe- the the person that I'm talking about, he didn't have to put no money in IPC. All right, he didn't have to do that. I did that. I wanted to bless him and a couple of of my other um, brothers with an opportunity like IPC. So, with that being said, as you can see, I just did a withdrawal, and we're gonna see if it clears. We're still waiting on our profits from this week. We're still waiting for our management bonus from this week. And hopefully we'll see that. But I have to manage my own risk. So I took out whatever I could take out. Like I said, some people are already getting notice to vacate letters and they're telling them to go ahead and withdraw and close their accounts. And that's fine. I have no, I have no problem cutting ties with IPC because the only thing I invested in IPC was a few thousand dollars and my time and not a whole lot of my mental energy. Nothing that's gonna make me feel emotionally distraught because IPC is gone. And here's how God works. God been putting people and platforms into my life at the perfect time. We got Troy Investor a couple weeks ago. Troy Investor is killing. We got FX Sway before the IPC staff got fired. FX Sway is one of those things that has the potential to kill even further than Intelligence Prime Capital. May not be the sexiest referral commission program, but 30 to 50% trading a month, 
very comparable to an IPC. And let's not forget the great Novatech, which has been around going on three years. I've got 60 grand in that account. It just generated almost $2,500 for me in a week. In a week. So, like, with that being said, listen, Intelligence Prime Capital, if it's over, it was a great run. It lasted for some people since last August. It lasted for me since last December. And we did pretty well. Didn't necessarily get in on the ground, ground floor, but you know what? We did okay. We made it to managing director, which is the second highest level in the company. We were able to crank out a lot of crypto from this platform. We spent some time and effort talking about it. But you know, all platforms gotta come to an end sometime that are built like this. And some of the leaders in the other spaces, they privately warned me that this was possibly going to happen. And because I don't, you know, I, I, I like to stay on the positive side of things, I take everything in. I frame my mind around the good things, but I also know that, po the, that the negative stuff can happen. You got to be prepared for the good stuff and the bad stuff, people. Because when everything is good, it almost makes you want to be lax. It almost makes you want to chill out a little bit and be complacent. No, 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 no. These first couple checks that I got from IPC that were hefty, I didn't go just blow it. I didn't go just reinvest it in IPC. I diversified. And am I, not, I might not be like those big wigs out there that can put $100,000 in every platform that they put their face on or they put their name attached to. I'm not that guy. Maybe I'll be that guy one day. I'm not there yet, though. So I have to manage my own personal risk so I don't put my family in, in harm's way. And paying attention to this space, being a part of this space for the last year, I've learned so much. But learning and then applying what you learned is two different things. Y'all can listen to me talk every single day. But if you don't apply some of the strategies, if you don't manage your risk, if you don't diversify, if you don't do these type of things, you run yourself the risk of running into these problems. I'm thinking about, a, about doing a whole nother separate video about why I don't do as many hypes anymore. I still might jump in a few. But we got to diversify in some platforms that have legs, people. We can't go to the, to the, you know, to the, all of this is the casino. But some casinos we know are way more risky than others. So one thing that I'm going to be intently trying to do is always have platforms on my docket that have legs to stand on. So that people can put their capital or whatever they feel like they can put in and lose and be able to actually win Passively, too. Not just for my link sharers out there, because I know, you know, link sharers have it sweet. We do the work now. That part ain't sweet. We get the content out there. That part ain't always sweet. You know, some people don't always listen to us. Sometimes it takes platforms shutting down for us to gain popularity. Like IPC, you know, it's a double-edged sword, because when IPC was going... It was probably one of my most watched platforms. But when it started having issues, that's when it turned up. And that's what sucks. But that's why you stay in the game. That's why you talk about the good and the bad. So that you'll be in position to talk about it. You could be in position to bring something else to the table. You'd be in position, period. So I know I'm ranting right now. I'm making this is a longer IPC video than it probably deserves. But when platforms have these kind of issues, we have to keep the right frame of mind. It is very important. Or this space will just destroy you. Straight up. This space will chew you up and spit.
spit your tail out. It will do it to you if you let it. I'm not going to let it. So that's why I, I'm hoping some of you can be inspired by my posture, but really it's not about that. It's really just about the truth of the matter is. And the truth of the matter is any one of these platforms have risk. Some people have been asking me about the new ones. They're like, well, what makes you think this new one won't do what IPC just did? Or what makes you think that this old one won't eventually do what IPC just did? It's not that I don't think that that won't happen. There's a possibility that that can happen. But I'm prepared for it. That is the difference. I'm prepared for it. And until you're prepared for the worst, you're not at your best. With that being said, please put your 2FA on all the platforms that will allow you and all your wallets because crypto is the wild, wild west. And if you ain't strapped, you're bound to get hacked. Ask me how I know. It is not very fun at all. If you like this content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you want to be notified and updated about everything going up. Well, I just read something. If you, if you want to be notified about everything going on here at BOJ, make sure you hit the notification bell as well. All right. Um... With that being said, this is another IPC update. If I hear anything new, I'll definitely bring it to the space. If I get a withdrawal, I'll bring it to the space. If I see my profits in the back office, I'll bring it to the space. Anything that happens with me here at BOJ in IPC, I will bring it to the space. And uh, I'll try not to talk as long next time. All right? Peace out. See you on the next one.